the way display. With the legend, Mr. Cleveland, we have now a new wedge to put into the family, a redesigned wedge. How does, how does, Second how generation Mickelson. Second generation Mickelson. This, Phil has a pretty good short game. Just a little bit, right? Just a little bit. <laughs> He is always working on the short game, and I want you to know we all should work on the short game because uh, yes. Phil misses a few greens. He's, he's, he's pin hunting all the time, you know, and they, they tuck him. So he's always, you know, putting a lot of pressure on that short game. But what he, what he did and what we have done over the course of the last couple of years is he's changed his uh, thinking on the wedge a little bit, so he added added some offset. He has a shot that he wanted to hit, a 20, 30 yard checking low shot, driving shot with the back pin. Okay. And so he wanted to have had offset. So you can see some offset in here. If I hold it up, you can see that. Okay. And it's a progressive offset. So it's a little bit more in the higher lofts as it goes down. The leading edge is more radius than the higher lofts, which is important to keep that leading edge low. Especially right. when you open it up, that has to get under the ball. Okay, you don't want to hit anything with that leading edge. So that's not good. Okay, the other thing we did, which is really cool, we, the micro positives. Our, our engineers, the USGA rules, uh, a lot of rules on groove and face roughness. And so what we did, instead of lasering down like most people do. We actually go and we machine down and leave four positives up between each group. Okay, that's 84 edges to grab the ball. And it lasts longer than the lasers and doesn't, you know, it doesn't last forever, but it lasts a lot longer. But what we have done on the PM is we angled those positives on a 20 degree angle. So when you open the face, they're now perpendicular to the line of the ball. When you open the face, you're, you're wanting to get a shorter, higher shot and more control. And this gives you more control. It's about 400 RPM or more. Now, they also talked about the, you know, you got the extra real estate up in this particular area. Because most people really want to talk about trying to hit it right here. Well, if you're flopping this bad boy wide open, you know, that's not such a bad place to be. Well, you have to go there because when you... When you take a wedge and you open it up, you actually have less area to hit face, okay, because right. you're reducing the face. You're also, because of loft, you're going up the face. So that's why the grooves go all the way out there. That was Phil's, this is Phil's wedge, okay? oh, yeah. and he knows stuff. And, and so we put the grooves out there, but the high toe, he has grass stains way up at the top because he would take an ordinary wedge and he's rather aggressive. Okay? Oh, yeah. I don't know if you know that about him, but, but he'll take a little 10 yard shot, he'll swing like 90 miles an hour on the rough, and he'll have grass stains out there. So it is, it is. So that's number two. Number three is we change the sole, and it's a little wider, okay, which is forgiving, and it's like a mini sure out, but with relief on the heel and the toe, so it's exceedingly friendly. In, in comparison to your, your MDs, where you have the C grind and the X grind, this where is does a, this compare? This is a C grind. Okay. I would say this is a, a uh, kind of a log wedge on steroids. Okay. Works for me. And, but it's a C grind with relief, so it's like a C grind but a little bit wider. So okay. it's very nice. And we noticed that we went a, a little bit lighter in the shaft. Yeah, we went to a 115 KBS. He uses a KBS, but I think most folks would like to have a little lighter shaft, overall lighter shaft than what he uses, and also a little lighter flex. I like you know, the, the, the earlier model personally was just a heavy. I like the look of it, really, just a bit heavy. The MD4s are perfect for my bag. Yeah, well, and, and this I like does not this replace the MD4. No, no, not at all. But we added another loft in this. We have 54 now, all the way to 64. Jeez. And obviously, we do a few left-handers. Well. That's good. That's good. <laughs> so well, go, good. Go, fly high. It's a beautiful, fly. beautiful. We have a new finish. It's tour gray, and, and uh, um, it's a PBD uh, over chrome. It's, it's gorgeous. It won't rust, and it's, uh, it's gorgeous. How does PBD go on something like this as opposed to that? Is it just, is uh, just a finishing mirror. technique? And, uh, it's smoke and mirrors. Oh, yeah. I can't tell you. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Mr. Cleveland, it's a pleasure it's as pleasure. always. Thank you very much. We always learn something from you every time I talk to you. It's just amazing. Heck of a product. Oh, it is. Yeah. I, you know, like I told you at the demo day, 
Yeah, and if you jump on someone else, and there's no way you're going to get one better. And then the, with the relief cuts that she was doing in that end, that really, that really set it off, really made it much, much better. I was really happy with that. Well, it's, it's great. Probably the most technical lob wedge on the floor today, this one, with, with the offset, the grooves from the 20 degree angle. Pretty nice. I just, I mean, that's great. Great. Again, thank you so much. It's a pleasure. All nice right. to be with you. I like the color of the hat. I'm a Nebraska fan, but... Well, it's just red. It's red. There you go, right? <laughs>